Hi, my name is Denisha Gray. I'm Oluwa Kemi. And this is Back in the Day. On Limitbox Live. talking about childhood habits you know mm -hmm. there's things that you could probably you get away with it. as a kid but right now everybody's just gonna be looking at you like what's going on as in so <laughs> so baby girl what were your childhood habits so let's hear you okay so i'll say the first one was treats yeah that one i didn't do it though but i used to beg for treats my <laughs> younger brother would hide his own that was and then we'll wait and would wait till when we are all done with ours and we bring his own out sit down relax and you know start eating his own slowly that's and they were like that's actually very like please evil. just watch, just watch. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually totally evil my sis was the person that used to do that you know she would just Okay, she wasn't such a sugar person. Me and my brother, we are sugar people. Okay. So, you know, probably if we could eat like maybe two or three chocolate bars at once, she would probably eat one and a half, keep the half for later, eat the one tomorrow, you know, all this. As in, it stretches out. So, when we were looking for sugar to satisfy oh. our urges, she had enough, like a gold mine. And all of us were just looking at her like. It just feels as if we didn't even have ours at I, all. To be honest, like, I mean, it, it was feel, just so painful. Another thing, another habit that, okay, I know that people have this habit, but I never had that habit is throwing away meds when they had to take meds. Guilty as charge. <laughs> I never threw away I hated meds. drugs. I love medication, I hated actually. drugs. I still I hate drugs. love medication. In the event that I had to take meds, you know, I wouldn't shy away from, you know, taking as much as maybe six, seven pills all at once. I didn't see the problem because almost everybody in my family is a doctor. So we had endless medicine cabinets oh, and course, so no. many things. Oh, please and no. please I, don't I, used, I used to chew them at some Wool up, wool up, wool up, just wool up. My, my own was, I would, when, when my mom gives me paracetamol yeah. or any drug, then yeah. once she just turns back, I'll just carry like this. You know you can be prosecuted for that! No, it was not taking it. That was the point. Not <laughs> taking point, it. I mean, I, I hate I, it. I, I no. see you. Another child habit. Hmm. Let me see. Errands. I, I hated errands. Don't provoke me to wanga. I Even to drop the cup in the kitchen, I hated it. The one I hate is when, like, okay, your parents is in the room or something, and then she calls you from the parlor, which is probably downstairs, to pass her remote, which is on her cupboard. Yes. I, my mom, my mom is a, my mom is a champion at doing that. My mom called me one time from the parlor downstairs to adjust, help me adjust her standing fan in her room. That was literally that, that is so she painful. Was, she was, she was beside the so fan painful. lying down, and then she goes, she goes, Didi, and I'm like. Ugh. So I, w I walked upstairs and did everything. She's like, eh, please help me adjust the fan. Okay. Dude, I was watching plate one day and then my mom called me from the kitchen to come and change the channel and she was sitting <laughs> right in front of the TV. <laughs> Jesu! Can't really. Or sem sem did it eat? No, I, I said, I ate, the first time I said that Amala was in secondary school, so. Mm -mm. Oh. It was it was a bar and. Okay, thing. I hated the shoes because I had okay, to watch them all. The thing that was difficult for us to watch was starch. Anytime we would mix the. Oh. It was, uh, but it was okay. like my favorite thing to eat, but then it was always so sticky. Yeah, I didn't understand. Really, really annoying. Mom. And then I had this habit of always stealing my mom's clothes and always wearing her jewelry. Continue. Like when she wasn't around, I would just go into her cupboard. And it wasn't like, <laughs> Me they, were, too, funny it wasn't like they were my size, so I would just go uh, <laughs> in her dresses <laughs> and with her jewelry and everything. She caught me one day. Oh. And said, like, she didn't do anything, she just laughed. Mine was stealing meat from the pot and fish. Oh my god. My mom, once my mom counts oh my meat god. and it's not complete, she doesn't call anybody. This she just calls Kemi. This what happened? Me. Yes, my mom counts it. She counts it from the market before she boils it at home. This sauce is loud. Oh wow. I yes. I and I was always I, I, don't think I, I would go to the freezer the and use knife to dig meat out of soup. Hab I was that bad. Hab <laughs> Hab 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 and then I'll pour water and I'll pour water to fill it back so that by the time it freezes, the place covers up. You will move out of this house. So my mom would just come back and be like, Where who who did this? Everybody be like, it's Kemi, it's Kemi. And I was always guilty, so. 
Yeah. Are you serious? So that was another thing, you know, this this isn't a childhood habit here, but it's like a parental habit of yeah. how they will tell you not to put your hand your hand inside their foot and super not like get bad and stuff <laughs> like that. Okay. Are I you for I remember being screamed at by my mom so many times because maybe I would use a spoon to eat soup and then I would carry that same spoon mm. and want to dish soup and my mom who was probably in the parlor watching bold and beautiful or something just appear. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's always was don't use your left hand to take food from the pot because serious? the rice gets spoiled. Okay. So whatever food was in the pot would get spoiled. Really? I don't oh know. my god. No. So another bad habit we had then was front seat controversy. Get out of here right now. <laughs> Who would Same. sit in front? Same. My birthright actually. I mean I think every first was... child is supposed to sit in front. Boom. Boom. The only time that my siblings would actually argue for the front seat was when a parent, either my mom or my dad, would actually tell them, okay, come and sit in, in the front. front. And in my dad's case, you can't win that battle because I'm sitting in front. Oh, so, so coming you from the first bonds win. association of Nigeria and Africa, first children should sit in front. <coughs> It is our birthright. Yes. You came first. Mm -hmm. So you know what? I want to hear your childhood habits in the <laughs> comment section. So please keep the conversation going. Yep. Don't forget to follow us on every possible social media platform. I'm yep. talking on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Of course, you know it. Right here on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed, the subscription button is down here somewhere. So All right. It's your comments. girl. It's Yoruba Pepe. And German juice. All right. <laughs> Take care. See you next week. Bye.